Hello and welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month for September. My name is Leo Green. Today we're going to be talking about using a top-down approach in sheet metal development. So let's jump right in. What we're going to start with is something called copy geometry from a different model. So what we're going to use here is the open model and grab something that might be a skeleton. We'll locate it with respect to our part using a default and then we'll specify what references we'd like to use. Now you'll notice here that we can only select Publish Geometry and that's because the Publish Geometry Only button is pressed. If we select that, we can then press or select uh, other geometries as well. So what we're going to choose in this case is to grab chains of our skeleton. So here's our skeleton and what we're going to grab is the outside shape, we'll grab maybe the outside from the uh, from the plan view, and we'll grab some of these face curves as well. Little mouse button, and uh, we've now completed our external copy job. So we've grabbed a couple of references, a couple of relative references from an external uh, model, which might be a skeleton. So let's start building some sheet metal stuff. We'll start with a flat wall. We'll specify this plane here to sketch on and uh, we'll go straight to the sketch view. Now you'll notice that uh, it didn't jump to a plane straight on view. That's because uh, in the environment I've got use 2D sketcher unchecked. It's useful because it doesn't reorient my view every time I come to sketcher. So let's uh, use edge now for in this case we'll use a loop picking up all the curves for uh, the entire plan form. Now since this model happens to be symmetrical and uh, we want to keep this tutorial somewhat short, we're only going to build half of it and we'll utilize the mirror command as well. So you use the squiggle trim tool to, uh, to pull up half of it and then because it's a flat wall it needs to be a closed sketch and so we'll, we'll drop that closed. Now let's take a look at this. The curves are to describe the outside shape, and you'll notice here the sheet metal is already on the wrong side. We'll bump that with the flip arrow, and then we'll change its thickness. Let's go with a, a 0.2 thickness. And so this might be our, our flat. So relatively easily use edge. Let's grab now the create wall, and then we'll grab an edge. Now I like to use the outside edges, and to be consistent, I'll continue to use that. I want it to go in that direction and re the important thing to note here is that we uh, we put the wall on the inside. Okay so there's our wall and of course I can change its height but we want it to be driven by this curve. So let's go to the shape option sketch and go straight in here and ask for this top curve to be right here on that vertex then we don't need a dimension. Okay, now in addition we want to build in some reliefs. Right now the default is a rip relief. Let's go with an ob round here so you can see what that looks like. And then uh, increase it. I like that one best. Okay, so that gives us a very, very nice wall. Now. Let's take advantage of this. We've already developed this wall already. Why don't we just copy it? So we'll just copy this one and then we'll be able to paste it. Control V. Picking then this edge. Okay. Notice the shape already is locked into that same vertex. So control C, control V, and then we'll pick then this edge, middle mouse button, and then that wall is finished as well. Now I'm going to make another wall connected off to this edge here, flipping again inside the outside face or the outside dimensions and then going inside so that the top uh, definition is defined by this curve. Now this wall needs to have a very specific shape too. So we'll go straight into its sketch. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to box everything. 
and delete it off and take advantage of the fact that we've already got quite a bit of geometry on the bottom. Now, you know when we create a wall and we pick an edge to attach to, the edges of the sketch must connect to those edges, that, that, uh, that vertex. So watch this. I'm going to use edge. In this case, I'll use a chain that goes from, say, uh, here all the way over to there. That's the edge chain that I want. Okay, so that gives us a very quick way to pick up all those edges. Now, actually, I don't really want this one. And I don't want that one. And I really don't want this one down the middle either. Okay? Now, watch this. Sketch references. I'm going to pick up this, this reference, this edge here. And then I'm going to ask for a line to connect here. That's going to close out the bend side of our wall. And then this is going to be the open side of our wall. Call that done. And you see what we've got now. With the same rifts and everything. Makes it very, really, really easy to do. Now let's just make some regular walls here. That's the way I want it. And then edit shape and bring this down. Let's make these, oh, let's make that two inch. Control C, Control V, and then let's pick this edge here. Middle mouse. So we got two of them the same. And then how do we close this out? Watch this. We we'll use something here called a flange wall. Now this one is a lot like a sweep. If I pick this edge, it'll create a uh, a wall running along that edge. I can change uh, the section. There's a number of sections here that I can choose, and one of them is called user defined. I'll use the user defined section, go to the sketch, and use edge again. In this case, a single, and I just want to get the curve from the copy jump. Middle mouse, and there's my wall. Let's do that one more time. Flange, user define, profile, or oh, placement first, pick the edge, go to the profile, pick the sketch, and then use edge of the curve, not the edge, the curve. Middle mouse, and there's that second uh, flange. Now we're ready to mirror this whole thing to the other side. Well, let's take a look at those edges real quick. See how that plays out? Of course, if you wanted to close that up, you certainly could with uh, just changing the way you did the sketch here. Uh, you might want to make those rips, uh, those reliefs a little bit different. A um, number of different options. All of them are doable. Now, if we want to mirror this to the other side, the way that works is you pick the top of the model tree, Edit and mirror, picking then the middle plane. Middle mouse, and that gives you a very nice mirror geometry without a whole lot of references. Now, it's important, though, that you take this mirror feature and you hide it because it, it includes all datums and curves and everything else inside there. So you want to hide that. And if you want to make it stay hidden, go to your layer tree, save status. So let's go back to the model tree. And uh, we have one more feature to make, and that is a cut that is from this face. And we'll just jump straight to use edge, and in this case, loop, because we want to pick up this loop, this one, and that one. We'll call that done with a depth through next. Middle mouse. And there is our sheet metal part. Let's ask for a flat pattern real quick. Boom. Turn off the planes. And you might want to hide your copy jump. So there is the sheet metal part. Now, if I go back to the skeleton, and uh, some changes might have happened here. Perhaps uh, maybe this is supposed to be 3, and maybe let's take this one to 24. Control-G to regenerate. 
my model now. Control G. Easily updated. Sheet metal part defined by a top down design or development approach. I hope a little of this made sense to you. My name is Leo Green and hope to see you next month.